All right. Good morning, Granite Bay. I'm Justin Ramey. And I'm Calvin Cartano. And this is your Quality Thursday, February 3rd Bulletin. Team Black. Team Black. Powerpuff. Attention all junior and senior girls interested in participating in Powerpuff. There will be a mandatory Powerpuff meeting today during both lunches in the theater. Attendance is mandatory in order to play Powderpuff. AMC, come take the AMC. This is a fun nationwide mathematics competition that is greatly, can greatly impress colleges if you score well. Sign up in room 655 by February 9th. Hey seniors, senior fifth quarter is on the 18th. Tickets are $11 and that includes dinner. We will be selling tickets on the 16th, 17th, and 18th at lunch during the boys basketball game on the 18th. Then the cafeteria after the fourth quarter. New will be available, so bring some money. Don't miss seeing your friends get hypnotized. Can't wait to see you there. Black Box. Black Box. Black Box today with Miles Black. Box. And Cole Chapman. Box. Good morning, Granite Bay. I'm Cole Chapman. And I'm Miles Black. We're here to talk about food flicking. Food flicking. Food flicking is very bad. Very, very bad. People may not know what food flicking is, Cole. Food flicking is when people are flicking their unwanted parts of their food. For example, your peas from your rice. Leave them in the bowl. Or your salami or turkey from your sandwich. I mean, it's got mayonnaise on it. Come on. Ew. But when I walk into the lunchroom and sit down, and there's soy sauce and rice on my ch- So disrespectful. I got a story for you, MB. Yesterday, I was cruising through the cafeteria. Whoa, whoa, see, man, slow it down a little bit. I was walking into the lunchroom, and BOOM! Food flicker? Food flicker! At our own table! I walk up, right, and I'm getting food flicked onto my brand new shoes! So what'd you tell him, see, man? I told him, food flicker, flick your food over the trash can! That's right, Cole. Would they be flicking food under their own floor in their own house? So don't be flicking your food under the floor if the poor custodian has to waste his time and clean up. Custodian isn't here to clean up after you. He isn't your babysitter. So flick your food over the trash can! I'm a vegetarian, for heaven's sake. The one thing that I hate more than eating meat is getting it all over my fresh attire. So don't be making a mess of everyone's nice clothing and fresh shoes, along with your classrooms and everything else you're making a mess of. So don't be a food flicker. And don't flick your food at all. Black Box, out. Thank you, Miles and Cole, for that great Black Box this week. I can't wait until next week to see what's up. To the circus rally tomorrow, February 4th, after third period. There will be dancing, unicycling, excitement, and much more. Support your class by wearing your class colors and prepare to be amazed. Sophomores, buy your class t-shirt before the rally tomorrow. They're on sale for $10 in the student store. Juniors, want to be a part of our new spirit squad? It will include the most spirited juniors who can get the crowd pumped and will get special gifts for being part of this awesome team. The rally is tomorrow, and we want to pump up our spirit to beat the seniors. If you want to put on face paint or get other spirited items for free, come to our spirit booth before school tomorrow. We really want to get spirited. <laughs> lip sync. Do you enjoy watching your friends perform their favorite song through lip syncing and choreographed dance? They come to the lip sync. The shows are on Friday, February 25th at 6.30 and 9 p.m. Come for your chance to win door prizes and watch comical and talent acts. Teens for Jeans, did you know more than one-third of homeless people are teens? More and more teens living on the streets without any help. Please support Teens for Jeans, a group looking for people to donate gently or used or new jeans for the second annual Teens for Jeans drive at GBHS. Donations are accepted through February 11th in the office and room 814. Ben, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be with Ben and Jerry in the scoop? Oh, gosh! And here's Ben and Jerry with the scoop. Scoop! It's a scoop with Ben and Jerry. Oh. 
What's up, Granite Bay? And welcome to the first segment of The Scoop with Ben and Jerry. I'm Ben. And I'm Jerry. Ben, what the heck? Jerry, I'm just really excited for a segment each week. By the way, what is The Scoop? Well, The Scoop is when we go around Granite Bay to see what students are up to. Oh, so without further ado, let's take a look at what we got stirring in Ben and Jerry's magic pot of stories. As many of you know, Hot Shots Basketball League has been very popular among Granite Bay students. Yes, including me! <laughs> well, we went to Hardwood Palace last Friday night to see some students in action. Let's take a look. So Ben, I hear you play Hot Shots. Yes, I do. In fact, that's me with the ball right there. And boom, goes the dynamite. Why do you play Hot Shots? Because it's fun, and I get to play with my friends. True, so I met up with Jordan Long to hear how he and the Hustlers prepare for a Hot Shots game. We run some drills, we do jump training, we, you know, we do weightlifting, and then we got some good good fans, you know, like this uh, fool named Matt Austin, he always brings an air horn, you know. And we got some, you know, these these fans, you know, they're all, they're all here to just see us play and me just like drain threes, you know. And uh, we, we actually have a game, game right now, and uh, yeah, I have you hustlers. There's Nick Russo with the shot, and boom, goes the dynamite. Even though it's recreational, many students take the sport competitively. But in the end, it's all about sportsmanship. This has been Jerry Hansen and Ben Yui, GBTV, Team Black. Wow, that was great. Until next time, Granite Bay. I'm Ben. I'm Jerry. And I hope you enjoyed the scoop with us, Ben and Jerry. Man, I wish Ben and Jerry had a theme song. Wouldn't that be nice, a little jingle? Yeah. Oh. It's a scoop with Ben and Jerry. Oh, God. That works. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Student recognition. Do you know someone with outstanding character or achievements? Recognize them or their accomplishments now. Student recognition forms are available in the Student Services and Room 507. Girls State, congratulations to Danielle McFarland for being selected as Granite Bay High School's representative to Girls State. Girls State is a nationally recognized week-long program for model government. Each high school in the state is able to, able to send one delegate to represent their school. Congratulations to Danielle for this tremendous honor. The Society of American Military Engineers uh, seniors planning on attending college in the fall of 2011 interested in pursuing degree in engineering or related field may be eligible. Deadline March 14, 2011. Signing off GVTV Team Black Quality Thursday, Fridays, Thursday, February 3rd. I'm Justin Ramey. I'm Calvin Garcano. Thank you. Welcome. The black box ad? <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Yeah. Someone take her picture So I don't forget her